Oh my gosh, my feet, my toes are going to die in here. No, no, I didn't. Oh my gosh, what happened? What is this? I, of course, am wearing my red lipstick in honor of today's haul, which you guys probably already saw, but, and uh, the title of the video, obviously, duh, but um, I got some goodies from, I mean, look at the size of this bag, first of all, like, what? Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today is the final episode of my birthday series, and as you can see, we are ending with a bang. Um, this is my first ever luxury haul, my first ever luxury shoe purchase just ever, and oh, I am in shoe heaven right now. Literally, I'm surrounded by the most beautiful shoes Ever. It is amazing. I n never, I always said, like, ah, I'm never going to get a luxury pair of shoes because it's literally like walking on money. There's no way, no way at all. Never, 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 never. And here I am with three Christian Louboutin boxes in front of me. Two of them are for me and one of them is my husband's shoes. Uh, so um, if there are, are any guys out there, you know, I thought I would just share the shoes because I love my husband's shoes. I think I love his shoes more than mine, actually, and I am obsessed with my shoes. I have always been a shoe girl, and for the longest time, I have always been obsessed with red bottoms. I don't know, there's just something so classic and unique about red bottoms, but again, I was like, I'm, I'm never gonna going to own a pair because there's no way. There is no way, and for the long- since my husband knew me, he knows. He knows my obsession. Well, for my birthday, he spoiled me. When I said he spoiled me for my birthday, if you saw my previous birthday um, videos in my birthday series, then you know. I mean, he went all out, just crazy all out for this birthday. Um, <laughs> when he bought these, he was like, okay, we won't be going on any vacations for the next couple of years, but this is all for your birthday. <laughs> so I was like, <sighs> but um, yeah, at first I was just there was so much guilt uh i just i couldn't believe it i even said i don't want them and my husband literally took off to take me shopping for christian louboutins and he's like no 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 i i took off for this we are going and i was like oh my gosh and um <sighs> okay all right all right let me let me show you his first okay and then i will show you mine um his are pretty darn epic uh this is the box right here. So each box comes with a dust bag to protect your shoes and his actually came with extra laces um, for his shoes. Let me see. Um, yeah, these are extra shoelaces and um, it comes with like the certificates and receipts and all that and um, this little card that says to only wear it on carpet until you know for sure you're keeping them because as soon as the red soles get scratched they will not take it back of course i will let you guys know my thoughts and things that i wish i had known and all that um, because it is a huge huge purchase i will get into all that i will let you guys know my thoughts and everything but these are my husband's shoes he's actually already worn them and he said they're pretty comfortable and everything i mean <sighs> gorgeous so shiny um this part looks like a little like those nose piercings almost but i don't know just a little bit of bling and you have the the shoelaces and the inside even is gorgeous there's like this red stitching um inside and it just looks amazing and you have of course the red bottoms as i said he did already wear this and this is after one wear okay one wear that's how much damage uh so yeah and let's see um where is the oh right on the heel it has the cl on there and i love that little detail it's actual like metal and it's just a cool little detail that they have on the shoe and i will have unboxings um on my tiktok and probably even on instagram so make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram because I will unbox these for you. These are absolutely my favorite dress shoes of his, hands down, both of them. These are huge, by the way, very heavy, um, but so well made. And he loves these, like he's obsessed just as much as I am. And um, yeah, I love, I just love that little metal detail. I wish that the women's shoes had something like that. 
he actually bought it from an actual Christian Louboutin store. Highly recommend you do that, especially um, for females. Like when you're buying such an expensive shoe, you have to try it on. You have to. I know they're available um, online and everything, but especially if this is your first purchase, please try it on. I know like Neiman Marcus and places like that, they sell um, Christian Louboutins. So wherever you can find them, just, just try them on. Even if you're going to buy them online, try the shoes on. I didn't even see him pick these out, by the way. I was trying on the shoes that I was going to get, um, which is why he brought me, and I, I saw him disappear for maybe two seconds, and he came back with this that was on display, and he was like, before I knew it, he asked the lady, he was like, do you have the size? And she brought it out, and I was like, what? When did you pick out shoes? And he was like, yep. And he just, he's so fast. I don't know, I think it's a guy thing. He's so fast with shopping. He's like, yep, I'll get this, this size, and that was it. And here I am like still barely trying on my first pair of shoes. So anyway, so this next pair, uh, the next two pairs are my shoes. I actually lost sleep over these shoes. I'll get into that a little story time for you guys. But um, let me show you. So here is the dust bag and the women's shoes. They actually come with little, like a little bag as well, but it has the heel tips for your shoes. Actual heel tips, because apparently those wear out. I forgot how beautiful they are. <laughs> These are the Pigals in the 85 millimeter heel, um, which is the shortest heel that they offer, and at least in the Pigal, I wanted something that I could actually walk in <laughs> and that I would have a better chance of wearing, so I did go for the 85, even though like high stiletto heels look super sexy, but I had never been allowed to wear heels like this, like skinny heels. I was only ever allowed to wear flats or wedges, and that was it. Not even block heels I was not allowed to wear um, growing up because my parents were like, no, it'll hurt your back. No, 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 and um, which they're right. I mean, if you walk constantly on um, shoes like this, they're going to mess up your feet and your legs and knees and everything, joints, all that. Um, so that's true, but uh, I just, I always wanted just a very sexy classic pair, and I was like, you know what? I'm an adult, okay? I can... I can get these shoes now. I can. <laughs> and I mean, I'm way past adult. Okay, way, way past adult. So I finally did it. My husband was like, you have to get them. They look amazing. And he was right. <laughs> he was right. And this is after one wear. I actually forgot to take off the stickers on the bottom of these shoes. These I got in the size 38, which are actually a size 8, I believe. I'm normally a size 7.5, 8. Um... For women's sizing, I don't know, it just varies depending on brand, everything. I have shoes that are a size, uh, I believe, like six and a half all the way to like a nine in my shoe closet. So I always have to try on shoes, always. It just, it varies way too much whenever I buy shoes. Um, I recently hauled the Nine West shoes, like block heels, and uh, those I actually got in a seven and a half. So typically, I'm usually a seven and a half. But these, um, I did go to a 38 which is equivalent to an 8 and I was terrified that these were too small like in the store they felt perfect um, even though like the toe box on these are known to be very very small so that they can show what is called toe cleavage yes that's a thing I didn't even know that was a thing but it's a thing and the toe cleavage <laughs> makes your um, legs and feet and everything just it elongates everything and looks very very sexy and um so I, I mean i love it but your toes are just squashed in this tiny little toe box and this is patent leather i didn't even think about this being leather i don't know for some reason i don't know but it just looked too shiny to be leather to me i don't know anyways um leather does stretch they do have like regular leather like kid skin leather or something and patent leather and the other like regular leather that stretches even more but patent leather it stretches but not as much so keep that in mind i, I did get it in the 38 originally when i was walking around in the store it felt like it felt fine i told the sales lady that my toes feel a little squashed though and she was like it, it should like your the toe box will open up a little bit the more you wear it and i can even see my toe indent it's already got my little toe indent in here um because it will eventually mold to your feet so there have been people that have gotten like half a size up or whatever because they thought that it was too tight and then because they kept wearing it it just 
uh, I guess, got way too loose and got uncomfortable to wear. So um, she was like, it should feel like that. It should. And uh, so I got it in the 38 and I was so excited. And I wore it um, in my house, like on the carpet. And I was just like, oh my gosh, my feet, my toes are going to die in here. Like they're so sexy, but my toes are literally going to die. And I just, I could not sleep that night because I was like, oh my gosh, I, I got the wrong size. And I was so intimidated to go into the store and even try on one pair, let alone like different sizes of the same pair. So um, I, for some stupid reason, like I didn't try on like a half a size up and half a size lower. Like it's good to just compare all of those sizes just to make sure that you got that perfect size. Don't be like me, okay? Just go ahead, try on all the sizes that you think you might be and um, you know, you'll be able to tell better which is your size and the sales clerk will also be able to tell as well. So, um, but yeah, I completely, I did not sleep that night because I was like, oh my gosh, I did not try on a half size up and a half size down because that night I had read um, several Louis Vuitton forums or whatever that were talking about the pig owls. Did I even mention? Did I even say that these are the pig owls? Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. I'm, I'm too excited. Okay, clearly. Um, these are the pig owls. I don't know what my husband's shoes are called. I don't know, but uh, I'll let you guys know. But these are the pig owls and they are supposed to be the most comfortable, um, one of the most comfortable Louis Vuitton shoes. Louis Vuitton shoes are not known to be comfortable. Um, they're supposed to be more for style than for comfort, which I 100% agree. These are not very comfortable, especially for someone who always wore flats and wedges and just recently started wearing block heels. Um, I, I just finally kind of graduated into wearing a stiletto heel. This is my first ever, um, like I said, but these ha are a little bit thicker than the regular heels that um, Louis Vuitton has. So um, just a little bit, like I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you with my other pair. Um, but uh, if you're worried about that, I mean, I, especially if you're like me, if you've never walked in stilettos before, 100% go for 85 and go for the big owls with a little bit of a thicker heel. Um, it does make a difference. Anyways, as I was saying, these, uh, I lost sleepover and the next day I called my sister in the morning. I was like, you have to come with me. You have to, because I have to go back to that store and see if I got the wrong size because my toes are killing me. Like that morning I kept reading more forums and more and more people were saying, oh, you should get a size down. You should get a size up. You should, you know, just so many things. People were saying so many things. <laughs> and I was like, okay, did I get the wrong size? That's like, I, I definitely got the wrong size. There's no way my toes should feel that squash. I did compare these with some of my other shoes and this just seemed smaller. And I didn't take into account that this has like a higher arch, but I don't know. I, I was just, I was completely freaking out mainly because of the price of these shoes. They are so expensive. So of course I want them to be absolutely perfect. Thankfully, my sister understood. Like I s called her at like six or seven in the morning and I was like, you have to come with me, you have to. And poor thing, like I woke her up and she ended up coming with me. I tried on um, a couple of pairs. Oh, he didn't even have the sizes, like a half a size up because they had sold out. Like how crazy is it? Like a day later and they had already sold out, which is crazy to me. Like I did try on some other um styles and stuff and he was like no you know the pig owls it has to be a little tight in the toe box and i was like no no no, my toes feel like they're going to die like they're literally suffocating and um finally uh you know i was like if i were to try them on can you tell me if this is how it's supposed to be and he was like yeah absolutely you have them with you and i was like yes and so i got them out of my car and i tried them on and he was like those are supposed to, they're like perfect fit for you. They may even be too loose for you. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? What? He's like, yeah, you may have to go down half a size. And I just, I, I couldn't even think of going half a size down because my whole foot would die at that point. I don't know. But he was like, no, it should because um, if you go half a size, it kind of like carries your foot so your foot doesn't slide all the way down and isn't smashed inside this toe box and all that. I don't know. He explained it in a very convincing way, <laughs> I might add, but um, I, I just didn't want to um, go down half a size. It just felt, it just already felt so tight. And he was like, I know it sounds crazy, but that's how it is. But he didn't have half a size smaller. So I was like, oh man, I don't know what to do. Like my feet, my feet are going to die. And um, again, I was like planning on wearing these like, like literally two days later. 
And so he was like, you might want to try some foot insoles. And he gave me some, let me see. He was like, these are kind of the cheaper ones. So you might want to get some better ones. But he gave me these little insoles and I just put them in there and they kind of held the shoe more in place and just provided just enough comfort to where the shoe was fine. And I was like, what? what? Like, this made all the difference. I felt stupid because I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I just try it? And in, like, I had already ordered these. I had mentioned this in a previous video. Um, these are the same thing, like a ball of the foot cushion. Um, but they are actually a little bit thicker than these. And I actually prefer these because they're just thin enough to provide enough comfort, but they're not too thick to where my foot gets too like squashed. You know, I'm really glad he gave me these <laughs> and uh, these are how I ended up wearing. I just, I didn't even stick them on here. You're supposed to peel off the back and stick them on. I just slid them in there and um, they helped a lot. So um, yeah, you might want to try that. So like I said, I'm a, usually typically around a seven and a half. Um, I went to a 38 and um, they will feel like your toes are suffocating. But um, I did read that you can do like the blow dryer trick where you can wear some thick socks and put uh, a blow dryer and kind of melt the leather a little bit to relax it and then it kind of stretches around the sock um, but make sure when you do this that you only put the thick sock around the toe area and not all around because then everything will stretch out all of this was fitting perfectly it was literally just the toe box that i wanted to be changed so i just like uh, I put on two pairs of socks and kind of folded them over so that none of this would be stretched out. Um, and I had this little mini heater and uh, I didn't do the blow dryer. I just did like a mini heater just for a couple of minutes. Not even. It barely was hot because I was uh, I, I was too scared that they would have stretch marks. I also read that um, people who do too much stretching get stretch marks on their shoes. So I was like, heck no. I paid way too much for these. Um, so I just did just a little bit and it was excruciatingly painful when I, I was wearing the double socks and this. Technically you're supposed to go like very slow and put like a, like one thin sock and then slowly graduate to a thicker sock, but, um, I was too impatient. <laughs> so anyways, I just did it for a couple of minutes and I took them off and then I, um, let them like, you're supposed to let them cool down on your foot. So I took the heat off. And still had the socks on everything I let them cool down and then at, when they did cool down after several minutes I took my socks off and then tried them on again and they were so much better still kind of uncomfortable I mean of course they're stilettos they're going to be uncomfortable but they made so much more of a difference it's incredible I still can't believe it you guys I still cannot believe it and yes I try them on every single morning since I've gotten them Yes, I've been walking around the house. The obsession is real. So if you are, you know, kind of in that dilemma, like did I get too tight of a shoe? Just try that method. Um, of course, don't stretch it out uh, if you are going to return them. <laughs> Again, don't, don't do that. But uh, once you are keeping them and they're just absolutely killing your feet, just try that just for a couple of minutes just put a little bit of like the um like a heater or a little um blow dryer or something uh, make sure it's not too close to the leather don't like burn the leather or whatever i don't know if this is you know if you can't burn it but anyways um just just for a couple minutes let it cool down on your foot and uh just give it a try it makes so much difference it's crazy and i also wanted to explain why i didn't protect the bottom of these i might protect the next pair that i have but um since i didn't wear those yet but i, I first of all i didn't have time to buy any of the protective like clear um things that you can buy off of amazon and stuff to protect your louis vuittons but the um sales associate she was like you know i never do that because the um plastic or whatever that you put on um when you if like if, if you accidentally step into a puddle or whatever then the little plastic sticker kind of shrinks and it just warps and it messes up your shoe and then when you try to peel it off it takes off all of the red and i mean i've never heard anyone say that before so i don't know and i'm guessing that the sales associate would know um so i i'm too scared to try that um i don't know i just have to do some more research on my own let me show you up close what 
one wear did to these shoes. Um, don't mind the sticker, I do need to peel that off. Uh, totally forgot about that. And these can be a little slippery. There is no grip on the bottom. I feel like the plastic kind of protected it from having more of the red paint chipped off. Keep in mind, you do have to take care of your shoes, okay? These do, look at that, look at the tip. It's already like gone after one wear, after one wear, just a couple of hours. Um, so you, I will eventually have to get these resold. You have to go to like a cobbler or whatever and have them, like once it gets really bad, you know, um, have them redo the paint and everything. It's just something that I didn't think of. I don't know, I just thought that the red would stay on, but apparently this red is just a thin layer of red paper is what, um, I forgot who said that. I don't know if it was the sales associate or one of the videos when I was like researching about it, but it's just very, very thin. So it's going to wear off. And I mean, I don't really mind the look because all you see is this, this part, which never touches the ground. So that part stays nice and shiny. So, um, I mean, I don't mind it, but um, once the shoe does wear down, it'll start getting into the actual sole of the shoe and mess up the whole shoe. So you don't want it like let it go too far. So just keep that in mind. Just keep watch of your shoe. Uh, I've never again bought luxury shoes, so I didn't know that was a thing. All my shoes are like, you know, they, they don't wear out like that. That was a lot. I said a lot. I haven't even shown you my second pair yet. So the second pair of Christian Louboutins, <laughs> my husband surprised me with the next day. So I got my first pair on like Wednesday, then I went with my sister on Thursday, and then on Friday, he surprised me with these. Uh, I was like having a terrible day at work, and I literally like walked into my room, and I was like, oh, uh, I was talking to my husband, and I was like, literally the only thing getting me through today was knowing that I could see my babies, which I was talking about the pigals, which I just showed you, and I was opening the box of which I thought were my pigals, and um you know of course has the dust bag everything just like the big owls and then i opened it and i was like i gasped i was like what 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 happened and i was so confused like genuinely confused and my husband was like what happened oh oh did you switch them out and i was i was like what no no i didn't oh my gosh what happened what is this and i don't know i was just i guess i was tired from work i, I didn't I don't know. And then I finally looked at him and he's smiling and he's like, what happened? Oh my gosh. Did you switch him out? Did you like, and that's when I was like, oh, oh my gosh. Did, did you go get these for me? And, um, yes, yes. He literally hid my pigals, my black pigals and, um, put these exactly where, like I had my pigals next to my bed. Yes. I was that obsessed. And, um, yeah, he switched places and <laughs> let me just show you. I mean, these are so gorgeous. I can't even, I can't even, look. You guys, look at that, never been worn, still. So, so beautiful. Um, these are called the Hot Chicks, I believe. They're the ones with this little scallop detail. Unfortunately, they don't have an 85 heel. Um, these are the 100, which is the shortest that they offer. They have 100 and 120, I believe. And you can see how skinny the heel is. Let me just show you for comparison. Okay, my battery just died. <laughs> I've literally been talking about these shoes for over an hour. I don't even know how long, but anyways, um, I was comparing the heels of these two. So the Pigals are a little bit thicker, as you can see. And of course, these are the 85s and these are the 100s. So of course, they're going to be a little bit taller, but they are skinnier. Like, look how skinny. It's like a little needle point. And again, like I've never worn stilettos before. I not only never owned a pair of stilettos before, but I've never owned a pair of just regular pumps like this before either. Um, I don't know, because they always came in heels. And like I mentioned before, I was not allowed to have heels. So I just, I never had a pair of pumps. And I feel that every girl needs that classic pair of nude pumps and a classic pair of black pumps. They just go with everything. So these are pretty hard to walk in <laughs> and they're even harder to walk in because they are too big. They are exactly the same size. They 38, the same size that I got in the Pigals, 38. Uh, but these are too big, which is so weird. Apparently, Christian Louboutin shoes are notorious for having weird sizing. So again, that's why I said you have to try on the shoes. And so I'm definitely going to have to um, return these and 
uh, maybe get my correct size or I'm contemplating on either keeping this style and getting my size, like a smaller size, or getting a nude pair of the big gals. And I can't decide, I just can't. And for me, I feel like the higher the heel, the sexier it is because the more like red shows. Love that look, I think it's just so gorgeous. And this little scallop detail, I'm absolutely in love with it. But I want to be able to walk in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really walk in them. Um, I, and I don't know if it's because it's just too big. They can, they kind of um, like fall off my foot when I'm walking, uh, which makes it very, very uncomfortable. So I need to go back to the store and try them on, of course. Um, but oh my gosh, it was just like the thought that counts, truly, because he just went all the way to the Louis Vuitton store and he wanted to surprise me with these. And it just oh, it totally melted my heart. It was just so so sweet and he only got this for me because like when i went the previous day with my sister i had tried these on um just because i was curious and i was obsessed with this like scallop detail and i had sent him pictures and i was like oh my gosh is this not the most gorgeous shoe and that's why he went the next day and got me these and oh oh my gosh i'm tearing up just thinking about it and if this nude doesn't really match your skin tone this kind of matches um it's not like an exact match um, but I like that it's a little bit different, but has like a, a little bit of a rosy tint, which is what makes it a little bit different from my skin tone. It's just perfect in my opinion. But if you do have a much more different um, skin tone, I do believe that he has um, like uh, different shades of nude um, on the Christian Louboutin website. Uh, they didn't have it in store, but they do uh, have it on line on the website so um, again if you're looking for that perfect nude pair and you want Christian Louboutins but you're kind of discouraged by this color um, just make sure you check the website because they do have a variety of nude colors available please please this is where I need you guys to tell me should I stick with this style with the higher heel um, just get my correct size or should I get another pair of pigals but in the nude like same heel height and everything but just get the nude color like please tell me because i have been going back and forth and i cannot make up my mind i can't i'm so i just i can't make up my mind at all I kind of wish i had gotten these in the black if i am uh if i were to get um this style of um, hot chicks in a nude or a black i probably would have chosen black actually because then you can tell like the scallop detail even more. Um, whereas the nude kind of blends in with your skin, but with the black, it really shows. So, um, but I mean, I can't return these now because I already wore it. And um, and I don't regret that purchase at all because they were comfortable and I was actually able to walk in them. So uh, yeah, I don't know, just so many things. Uh, maybe later on down the line, I will be able to afford a black pair of these. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I will want to do that because again, these are crazy expensive, crazy, crazy expensive for, especially for shoes. Like, ugh, just see, this, this is how I get myself again. Like I'll start thinking about that and I'll start feeling guilty. You know, it's, it's good to just fully spoil yourself once in a while. And these are by far the sexiest pair of shoes I have ever owned. I've ever tried on hands down. Um, they're just, they are so incredibly sexy and just elegant and classic and oh my gosh they're just a dream of a shoe um not um on the comfort level they're, they're just not comfortable you know it's just they're, they're not made for comfort like i said they are made for the looks but the look of the shoe is a 10 out of 10 <laughs> they are literal works of art so gorgeous um it says Louis Vuitton in Paris and on the back it's like stamped on there the Christian Louboutin symbol and the size of the shoe um and then it says made in Italy right above it just look how shiny and beautiful the sole is if there is anything that I forgot to mention in this video about these shoes about my thoughts whatever you want to know just let me know in the comment section below and I will answer your questions if you guys have any shoe suggestions for me um like I mentioned before I am shoe crazy so if you have any shoe conge uh, congestions if you have any shoe suggestions for me um 
please let me know in the comment section. Um, other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!